Hey, what's up? This is uh, part one of two on how to put custom firmware on your PSP 3000. This also works for the 2000 version 3 motherboards and the PSP Go. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to format your memory stick, which obviously I don't need to explain it to you. It's very easy. Get in USB mode on your PSP. Okay, um, you may not have certain folders that I do on mine, so... Let me just delete these real quick. Okay, now onto the video. You will have three downloads. Obviously, you will need um, a program, W I N R A R, Win Rare, to extract these folders. You can get a free download. Just go to google.com and type in free download for Win Rare, Win Rare, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, in the link below will be these three downloads. Okay, doesn't matter how you extract them, okay, in what order. All you need to make sure you do is you do one at a time. I emphasize that one at a time. You cannot do all three, otherwise, you're going to be overlapping files. And then you're going to be missing some, then you're going to be asking what went wrong, okay? So I'll name them off as I'm extracting them. This is the uh, patch for the PSP 3000. Okay, once you extract it, you'll get a folder. Um, called PSP okay and that folder will keep getting overlapped if you try doing it over and over and over and over and over um, so after you do that you open up the folder and you'll see a folder within that called game okay so you come here to your memory stick click PSP click game okay back to the download game there's a folder called hen just click and drag it and copy it to your game folder on your memory stick okay another thing you need to do with that hen folder what I would do I don't know if it's necessary or not however I did it and I know it works uh, if you don't have an ISO folder on your memory stick you need to just right click create new folder and call it ISO in all caps um, and basically what you would do is you would take that hen folder and copy it here in your list of backups of your CSOs and ISO files okay so you would just take that hen folder click and drag it onto there okay next one now what's important so you don't overlap just click drag and delete that so you won't have any problems let's extract the Prometheus ISO loader okay see once again it's called PSP this one also goes in your PSP game folder so you go to PSP click game mine empty um, you just keep clicking until you see the Prometheus ISO loader click drag put it in that folder and last but not least you will get three files drag these over so you can see them better one says PSP the other one says HBL and the last one says h.bin okay this is going to be another PSP game folder okay so I just left mine on there so just PSP alright game now obviously this one says hen and then something else highlight both and you need to copy to game okay <clears throat> with the other one it says save data right here under go back one more time it says PSP click it there's a folder save data here's all my saves if you made a backup of yours you put those in there click on it and this is necessary to put on there too this is the the um save data that helps with the exploit copy it in there now these are the only folders that you should have on the root of your memory stick we're back from on square one this is the root okay um, you should have that HBL and the h.bin files just highlight both those and drag them onto the root of your memory stick okay that's all you gotta do and those are all the files that are necessary. Follow, now you watch my other video and then I'll show you how to use it. 
So just to make a quick run by, here is a, um, here's what should be on your memory stick. On the root of your memory stick should be the HBL and the H.bin, okay? In your ISO, you should have that, the hen that you extracted from this, from this file, the patch for the PSP 3000, okay? Um, under your game, let me go back, here's PSP game, obviously mine's empty, but you should have Prometheus Isoloader and you should have another UCL, whatever that's the actual demo file, and then you should have a hen folder, okay? Um, you can use the hen that was, that was from there, I'm sorry, you don't, if, I don't remember now, because this is like my fifth time making this, because I keep screwing it up. But anyways, there should be the hen, and then that UC whatever, and Prometheus Isoloader. That is it. If you have any problems or questions, or the links go down, let me know. I'll make sure that new files are posted. Make sure you guys watch video too. And most importantly, enjoy your ISOs, your CSO files, and your homebrew on your PSP.